Vale. Good morning from carrerasdemontana.com. This is Mayayo speaking with the great hero of yesterday's UTMB, Zach Miller. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zach, one year after, here we are again. Yes. Last year we were celebrating your wonderful victory uh -huh. at the CCC 100 kilometers. Uh -huh. This year we are celebrating a very valiant effort <laughs> that ended up in a sixth place after leading for 130k. Uh -huh. yes. How does it feel? Uh, bittersweet? <laughs> yeah, bittersweet. Uh, proud of the performance. Um, uh, proud that I, I went for it and went for the win and hung on for so long, but uh, very bittersweet and kind of heart <laughs> heartbreaking to uh, be so close and yet so far. <laughs> yeah. Well, for those who are not familiar with the race, how would you um, describe the race in your own words? Because, I mean, the, the races usually start the same. Uh -huh. The gun goes off and Zach goes with the gun. <laughs> yeah, uh, how I describe my race or this Your race? race. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they shot the gun and I, <laughs> and I went. Um, but no, I mean, I, I was relatively controlled. At, um, I just kind of ran smoothly to Le Houge mm -hmm. and then uh, Le Zouche, uh, And then when we got there, we started to go up. Mm -hmm. And as we started to go up, I just kind of naturally ended up in the lead. So I, I usually just let that happen. And I think I had three and a half minutes by the top of the first mm -hmm. climb. And I wasn't pushing. really pushing, pushing, pushing. I was mm -hmm. just kind of just, I was just running. Mm -hmm. I didn't really, um, I wasn't keeping track of how big the lead was or anything. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and yeah, and then I ran, it went really well. Uh, really well all the way to Cormier. Mm -hmm. I had a very tough uh, climb out of Cormier. I, I was very low mentally and physically. <laughs> um, and so that, that was hard. Um, but then once I got over that climb, I found a rhythm and I ran really well all the way to La Folie. Mm -hmm. And I felt very good at La Folie. And then shortly after that, I really started to struggle. And I got caught at Champé Lac, and I actually just figured this out today. But the two runners That's who caught correct. me at Champé Lac were Julian did, Sorier yeah. and Fabian Antolino. Yeah, and they did not they did not beat me. They That's caught correct. me, uh, but I took off and I and I lost them. I think one, one of them dropped or both actually, of them dropped. Actually, except from the outside, it was quite impressive yeah, because once you were overtaken. Uh -huh. All of us were expecting, you know, to drop that. But then uh -huh. you found uh, like a second win, uh -huh. and you came again on top. Uh -huh. And yes, they they fell they fell back. Uh -huh. uh, did you? Was it mental? That, did you were you able to take some extra hydration or something, or was it just a, an energy rush um, that propelled you there? Well, I had been very low on calories and things, and mm. so after after Champé Lac. Um, I, at Champé Lac, I took my time and I yeah. took some things and so that started to kick in mm. and so I had energy then mm. and so I think it was a combination. When I started to feel good and I took the lead back, then I got kind of like a rush mm. and so I thought, oh, maybe maybe I can still win and so I was I was really pushing, pushing and feeling feeling good mm. uh, and, and I went strong all the way to Trient but at Trient, um, the eventual winner, he, he uh, Ludovic Pomeret. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, he caught me, and um, we left together. Mm -hmm. And then um, I, I thought he was one of the runners because they were both yes, Hoka athletes. Exactly. So I thought he was one of the other runners from Champé Lac. I didn't find out till today that he was a totally different runner. <laughs> <laughs> and that explained why he was so strong on the climb. <laughs> because when we started climbing. Uh, it had been, uh, I would climb much faster. Well, uh, and, I mean, Zach, and, wouldn't, and then, wouldn't the use of poles be a factor? Well, may, I mean, maybe maybe sometimes maybe, you may consider poles. Maybe, or? I, I might, I might, <laughs> I might consider. I don't really like the idea of know. poles. Uh, but Ludovic but, used them to great advantage. But you, you yeah, see. he had his poles and he went right on by. And I thought he was the same runner, so I was like, <laughs> oh, like I should be able to climb strong and put some distance and maybe stay away uh -huh. and then uh, all of a sudden he was like this is not the same climber <laughs> which which now I know what why be, because it wasn't the same climber it was a different climber and he was a very strong climber 
and I just could not I could not I could not match his climbing not at that point in the race maybe, maybe earlier but not at that point in the race um, and then so I, I basically just gave it everything I had on that climb and when I got to the top there was not much left <laughs> there, there was about 15 miles of racing left but there was not much left for me well <laughs> on the other hand it's a new experience because mm -hmm. the hundred miles at Mont Blanc uh, have nothing to do with hundred miles at the States uh -huh. um, in my in my case for example yeah, in the States we would be done after like 14 hours yeah. <laughs> I can tell you I did Leadville in 28 hours uh -huh. and it took me Mont Blanc 38 hours uh -huh. yes, yes so for you guys it must be also uh, yes. quite a big gap yeah yeah well and I have not even raced a hundred miles in the States I, the the longest I've raced is Madeira which was mm. uh, just under 14 hours mm. um, so yesterday's race was almost 10 hours longer so <laughs> so still I mean you're young you've got a way to go uh -huh. uh, what I did uh, appreciate also was the gallant effort till the end because uh -huh. uh, remember we were also at Transvulcania two years uh -huh. ago remember when you also started out first you uh -huh. couldn't hold it but on the huge home stretch uh -huh. you were fifth Dakota was fourth uh -huh. you were like 300 meters back uh -huh. and you tried to overtake it was yeah. a beautiful race uh -huh. and uh, today uh, you tried uh, to finish the same finish in style yeah I, I tried to finish strong I, I I was pretty sure I wasn't going to catch anyone but uh, I still want to uh, it's still a race so I still want to <laughs> run in you know strong I, I may not have ran in quite as strong at CCC last <laughs> year but uh, no I still when I got to the road I picked up my pace and I yeah. and I tried to come in with a strong stride and a respectable give it respect, all you all you've got respectable you know? all the way till the end yeah. much like uh, you guys in the States uh, like to mention uh, Prefontaine uh -huh. no in the mm -hmm. tradition yeah okay will we see you in Spain soon um I don't know uh, last year the in the spring I, I came for Alto seal mm -hmm. um, so I might I don't know I will see if I get invited back to Alto seal I really <laughs> like the race mm -hmm. and and uh, the atmosphere so I, mm -hmm. I maybe uh, I will see if Lolo invites me back. <laughs> uh, but uh, um, I don't know I, I would consider other races in Spain too I, mm -hmm. but I have not made my schedule for All next right. year Th this year um, I will do a, probably a few more races, but um, mm -hmm. some will probably be in, in the States. I'm yeah. not sure if there will be much in Europe. <laughs> okay, and last but not least about the Nike gear that uh, Zach runs with. Uh, let us know because we were discussing it earlier. Three out of the top six runners at UTMB were running with Nike trail running mm -hmm. shoes. Which is your favorite and why? Uh, let us know. Um, the, the, this is the Wild Horse 3. Uh, and it is my favorite um, it's better for the long days in the mountains because uh, mm. it has a rock plate and then the uh, the tread is a bit more aggressive mm -hmm. on, the, on the bottom um, and um, yeah it's just very good for long days in the mountains and mm. yet it is still pretty light yeah. and uh, it runs well on the road mm. so if you do have a small road section you can still mm. run very fast and comfortably um so yeah it's just it's and it's very very dur it's the the upper is very durable oh, the right. ver it's very very durable so uh yeah it's a very comfortable shoe too great well really Zach we've we've talked for several years by now uh, -huh. uh I must be honest I had a great fun watching your race it okay. was truly inspirational you may uh -huh. not have won uh -huh. you know the first position but it was really something to to uh -huh. remember hope next time that we tape each other here we've got a different story to tell uh -huh. yes <laughs> yes yes i i would like to come back and figure it out but uh we will time will tell <laughs> uh, you're still the first first time you've got much time to get yeah and scare people out all right <laughs> <laughs>